Uh, good Friday morning, everybody. We're out here in our little garden. We're getting ready to get some food out our backyard. Guys, Tuck is getting ready to harvest the collards the first time. We're just not going to get, I don't know how many he's going to get because we gonna we plan to do a big harvesting for Thanksgiving and um, we just want to get these and just try them out and see what they're all about. I got the uh, camera in hand so bear with me guys but I we gonna make it do what it do so I'm gonna turn it over to Tuck he may want to share with you guys as to what he's doing and how you actually harvest collars. Hey, you guys. Uh, good morning to everybody. Well, she said Friday morning, early we get out here and gonna crop uh, some of these uh, collard leaves off of these plants we have here and uh, maybe may getting ready to put some in the pot here. So <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna do what we do. Uh, usually, I don't know how everybody else do, but we usually start cropping our, our uh, collard plants and stuff from the bottom so we can give it uh, a chance to have the leaves up top just to continue to grow and like she said we're going to try to get some off now because see these are we got them in grow bags and they are close to the close down to the ground we need to kind of get them up off the ground we can that's that's growing these are the as you can see these are big leaves so we're going to try and to they do are this. ready to be harvested they are ready to be harvested actually all of this, this greens, all of these greens we have right now are ready to be harvested. I've seen green harvested a lot less stays than this. But we're hoping we're not planning on trying to get them all up or anything like that because, like you said, we want to try to have some for Thanksgiving and things like that. And we plan on doing that, uh, 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 hopefully, if the, uh, the weather holds out. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Just want you to kind of see what we're doing. Now, cropping, what we call cropping, is just actually just taking off uh, a leaf or a limb. The bigger the leaves. plants, which is like this, we just go all the way around it and get them up as high as we can here, as high Down as we want to bottom. at the bottom, and just go around. And I uh, used to try to do it with my hand, but if they get to be a, a little tough to do it with my hand, I have some cutters here that I would cut them to. The, the point is to try not to damage the plant or anything so that it won't continue to grow. You know, just going right with on around with this, now. Uh, as May told you in the past, we have two collar plants in each one of these grow bags. And uh, actually, we did that because a lot of times, you know, some of them won't come, won't grow, and won't produce, and won't do what they what you want them to. But this time, we had them both, and each one did very well. So we have a. Uh, Really, I three, just thought we had enough here, room. We actually we, have six we, plants here. Oh, excuse me. I didn't know you were still talking. But uh, I felt that we had enough room in the grow bag to do two uh, collard plants. But, um, that's a deal. Here, take that off there. We're not going to use that one. I mean, you can see that on there. You just got to keep all those pulled off. Uh, we're going to go around this side. I think that's about what I want to get off of that side. And come around to this side. Let me zoom in. Okay, let me uh, move in a little bit. Let me zoom in and see what we're doing. See what we're doing here, I guess. Going around and around. So I ain't got maybe eyes where you guys may can't see as well as what he's doing. When he get through uh, harvesting what he's going to harvest, guys, when we get, I go inside and show you all that he har that he harvests. But I just, he wanted to just show you guys, share with you guys yeah. how we harvest our collards and stuff. That's all I'm going to get off of that one. I may come back and get one or two more that possibly could go, but I'm, I'm going to stay with that for right now. I think just down to, at the base, of the stalk. All we're doing is just breaking them off. Try to break down at the stalk, not at the stem. Look at that, guys. 
Yeah, we'll show him inside once we get inside. People, this is what we're talking about. You don't have to have a large place or land master to grow you some vegetables. These are all grown in containers right here in our backyard. We will have uh, these all well here plus I have some so I'm planting in another area my what I call my garden. This is what we call Maymay's garden here. She do the grow back and everything I do the regular ground. We got some out there on mass who don't look near as nice as these do yet. These things go to where the way the much collard greens stuff we have. We have plenty of collard greens for our family here over the duration of the fall and winter. And I probably share some with the free in the mass. Yes, guys, this is uh, food out your backyard. Yeah. You, stay you see how I started small? And before I end up on this journey, I don't know what I will be planting out here. But I had to see how this stuff was uh, working. I had to renew my mind, my soul, and my spirit and get ready for this growing. Because I used to do some awesome growing back in the days with my flower and working in the garden. Look at that guys, look at that. You mm, can ask for a nice. nicer, nicer color plant than that, I tell you. This is the kind of thing you get from people that grow, grow vegetables in hot houses and stuff like that with all those quick growing and stuff like this. And this is all done, done uh, with uh, mostly organic. Uh, for a lot of things like this that we used to use over here, stuff we used to keep bugs off of. And uh, that, this is just what we enjoy doing. Now, and usually I'm we try to keep these up on the ground because, see, uh, you will see some of them will get holes and stuff in with bugs or something. You know, that's that's one of the products of trying to keep them up off the, off the soil and off the, off the uh, dirt part because a lot of times they'll be able to get infected with some kind of thing and you need to need to pull these off and get them off and get something on them to keep them from being able to infest the whole plant. As you see how vibrant these plants look, so we intentionally been going around and making sure we kept most of these off the thing that we can see. Oh yeah, Until we have broken. down way up under here sometimes, sometimes you can't see some of them. But we have broken a lot of leaves off, guys. Sure have. And uh, because, uh, you know, they was on the ground and whatever, and the dirt and the bugs that washed up to it. Stuff like that, they just throw off. And I intentionally mm -hmm. throw it over on the ground, guys, to uh, put some nutrients in our soil back here. We're trying to build everything back up. Because we had up. never planted over here on this side. This is our first time on this side. I'm trying to look on the back side, guys. Get we have these right up next to uh, one of uh, they made raised bed that's out here. Yeah. Kind of out from it, so I'm just kind of reaching around and just trying to see if I see anything else that I need to get off. Stand up and kind of look around here like this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's what we got. Look at here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. look at that. <laughs> Guys, I'm hoping I'm getting this for you guys. Can yes, see, I'm still. I'm just gonna have to start working with this camera more. But when Tuck get inside, here. because doing, doing. I'm gonna stand up, look on the back side of this one. I can see very well on it. And this one. I don't even have you in the camera, Tuck. What about Why what not? am I doing? Hold uh, it, hold it up till you find me. Okay. To my face. Can you find me? I got you. Not okay, it don't matter. It don't matter if you don't. But guys, uh, this is the what we're talking has about. really got a glare over here on this view. Well, the on sun this view coming up like over there. The sun is coming up. She got these some more, more leaves, some more turns. So this is what we that need to be thrown away. Want, no, this is this is good. Here we want. This is what we wanted to do this morning. Get out here, and I'm trying to get on this back side, so I'm gonna have to stand again because it's hard to see them. From that other side, but like I told you, we have two in each of these plants, in each of these containers. 
next time I let Tuck uh, set the uh, tripod up, he can better. Huh? You probably, you probably better do it like you're doing because see I'm moving around so the tripod will be in one spot unless it just got a wide angle on it. So that's, that's good. I mean, the, the key point which is showing what we're harvesting. Here, take this and show them the... Uh, this, guys, look at here. Take this camera tuck and show them the... Uh, We'll show them those when we get in the house. Show them the uh, mustards over there. They got to be thin now. Okay. And guys, uh, look at here. Let me back this out a little bit so you can see it better. Guys, look at this mustard green. All of these are grown in a with a number ten tub, wash tub. A lot of you, particularly some of you old, know what a number ten wash tub is. And we'll back up a little bit so you can see what it. But look at the mustard greens that we have here that may make got to be thin. I and, really, I call myself mm -hmm. sowing them when mm -hmm. I planted them. Right. Well, not to be so thick, but uh, right. the seeds are so tiny. I probably wasn't seeing what I. So collard greens, what may may be cooking some of today, but 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 in the uh, the day or whenever she cook them, up, we go get them cleaned up. But whenever she do, the next thing will be some of these mustard greens because they got to be thin. And we'll either uh, cook some or she'll put some up uh, and save them for for another day. And guys, right right behind that, look at our cabbage. Look at these cabbage, guys. Can you believe that? I never would have thought these cabbage would have done like that. May may have really outdone herself with this garden and stuff she's doing. But she babies it and she puts all kinds of things to help them grow. And uh, and they are. I are, bring my boil when I boil eggs. I bring my mm -hmm. I bring my egg shells out here and just put them in a spot mm -hmm. right there in my um, mm -hmm. over here in my uh, raised bed. And I when uh, we use those K cups for coffee, but I find out you can take the grinds out of that. And I've been doing that. And when I make tea, when I make my sweet tea. I dry them bags out and I put all of that in the soil. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tuck, show them that they're um, that those plants that I like to lose. I cannot guys, believe look at they this. Still. Look at this. This is supposed to be a hybrid collard or uh, not a hybrid. Not a, uh -uh, not a hybrid. A, uh, ha uh, what you call heirloom? It? heirloom. From, uh, that's what Baker I'm trying to say. From Baker Creek. And that's the one I really, I am really and, excited for you guys to see. And, I thought I was gonna have to wait to next year to show you guys. Because the wind blew them things, you would have not thought yeah. that one of those I could save a one of those, but I did. They was all but gone, guys, and they she worked really on them. Gone. She worked on them. They were really gone, and she just worked on and worked on it. And look how that plant is doing there. So we and definitely will I be planting some more of that. Plus, I got a couple of more in the uh, greenhouse. That's right. She sure bags. do. Sure do. And got have another one right over here in the other side of the. Uh, uh, that's another one of them right there. I just growing. put that. I just but, uh, took that out of that little cell right. and it put just it came in out the, uh, Excuse me, I didn't know you mm -hmm. was still talking. We can't hear you without this door. I just took that out. That cell. Oh, Brittany planted that for me when she was here last sure week. Sure did. She uh, she I told her it was about to get too big for that mm -hmm. cell, so she took and uh, do it. I mean, uh, took it out and I told her what to do. And then she planted uh, a couple more in the uh, greenhouse. Yeah. Well, okay, guys, we don't want to make this video too long. We want to try to get it up today. But when we get in the, when we get inside, we will uh, show mm -hmm. you the, uh, what we harvest for our first, and, first harvest yeah. of the collars. And, guys, we have another uh, number 10 tub over there on the other side that has just plain turnip greens in it, uh, uh, purple, purple top turnips. They and should it, have the And it's just about as, about as big as these uh, mustard greens are over on, there. Over there so we're gonna, I'm going to walk over there and show you that one, okay? All right, and bye. Okay, guys, this is the purple top turnips in the same type of uh, tub that the uh, mustard greens are in over there. And you can see that they are just about as large as others. So we have mustard green, turnip greens, collard greens, cabbage. Still have plenty of pepper growing from our, our summer crop. Not too much. Brit Not too Brit much. Brit uh, Brit got a, a lot of that. Britt took a bunch. Back. Yeah, she took a bunch back with her, but we still having it producing. I still got okra, a little bit of okra producing right there as well. So uh, this is just an example of what you can do uh, at different seasons of the year, depending on where you live. And uh, this is a cold, and be, this, this is a this cold is a, weather crop. These are cold weather crops here. So guys, we just want to show you that, and we 
we are pretty much done with this video. Just main purpose was to show show me cropping those uh, uh, collard greens. And until next time, as May May say, yeah, we go. We we going to show you guys the, what we harvest. We're not going to talk on there, but uh, we gonna go ahead on and end this video. And remember what I always tell you guys: think positive, use your common sense, get out there and get you some pots, some totes, or whatever. And let's start growing our own food, guys. Maybe God is trying to tell us something. Okay, guys, let's get the growing. Get your head in some dirt. Feels good. See you in my next video. Bye. Bye, you guys.